and thanks for visiting Pretty Little Pleasures. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the Christmas trees that I put up throughout the house. Remember, some of my trees were in storage and I'll also show you some of the things my husband brought down from the attic. And then I'll let you see me do some of the decorating in my house. You guys, this was like a five day process. Whew, but <laughs> I got it done and I think I'm done with it all. And I just wanna share it with you. Um, everything is in fast mode so you can see a little of it all because when this was in regular mode this video was over an hour long even after I edited and did a lot but um, things are gonna go kind of quick but no worries because I'm gonna do an official Christmas home tour and I'll um, walk you through my home and let you see the entire how everything came together and turned out but anyway you guys um enjoy the video and i'll see you at the end okay guys we're starting with this first flocked christmas tree it's three feet tall and it was 16 dollars. i purchased this from walmart it's the perfect tree to sit in my oldest daughter's room on her dresser it's a not a lit tree but adding lights to it was easy to do and you'll see in my next video it turned out beautifully this tree is an exact replica of the three foot tree that I just showed you. This one is four feet tall and it cost $20 and I also purchased it at Walmart. This one I'll use in my son's room. This tree is a seven foot tall flocked pencil alpine tree. I also purchased it at Walmart for $59. You guys, this tree is absolutely beautiful and it's exactly what I was looking for for the room that I put it in. This tree is also a pre-lit tree. This trio came in three, four, and five feet tall. I paid $49 for the set. They come in the galvanized pot. They are pre-lit and they are absolutely beautiful. I used one in my daughter's room and the other two in my foyer. These two trees I purchased for my fireplace mantle. I found them at Hobby Lobby for $29.99 with 50% off. This beautiful tree I purchased from Bell's Outlet. I absolutely love how the bark of the tree looks so realistic, as well as the branches and the tiny pine cones. And I purchased this tree for $16.99. This tree is also in a galvanized pot. I purchased these three trees from Old Time Pottery. The large buffalo check tree matches two smaller trees I have that are identical. I paid $14.99 and it is a lit tree. This cute white tree was only $2.99. And this black and white plaid with a star on the top was $3.99. And now guys, I want to tell you about this lantern. I also found it at Old Time Pottery, and the price on this lantern was $59.99. I was willing to pay that price for it because it is absolutely beautiful. When I got to the register, the cashier looked at me with surprise and said that this lantern was on sale for $15. And you guys, here's a look at all of my Christmas items that my husband brought down from the attic. I have all of this in addition to what I have inside. This is gonna take some time, but you know what? I'm ready to get started. You guys, I'm starting day one by putting up the trees in my daughter's and in my son's rooms. I'm also removing some of the items from their bedding so I can add Christmas bedding and pillows to their rooms to match the decor that I put on the trees.
Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell, a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for Santa tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree. This tree was giving me a time. I could not get it out of the box. It took so long that I actually thought I was going to just sit the box on the dresser and decorate it. Okay guys, it's day two and today I'm concentrating on the bathrooms. I'm just adding small touches to the bathrooms to make them look Christmassy but not overdo it. And now on to day three, the longest day of all. So today my plans are to get um, my Christmas decorating done. It would be great if I got it all done today. It's a lot to do, so I don't know if I'll meet that goal. I have already gone ahead and done the trees and things in my daughter's and in my son's room, um, as well as their bathrooms. And so today I'm gonna concentrate on the foyer and the family room, dining room, areas and um, the kitchen so that's what my plans are I'll see how far I get you guys come on and let's decorate so guys I'm gonna start here in the foyer and as you can see I have two little helpers well one little helper Jingle bells ring. I'm adding two trees to my foyer and I'm also adding the wooden decor pieces to my table. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for seven. I absolutely love these wooden skates. I'm adding some garland and stems to this basket. And I'm also filling my foyer lantern adding pillows to my settee, hanging this scarf, and adding my white reindeer and these two small Christmas trees to my other console table. Now to this hall dresser, I'm adding this Christmas tree with a buffalo check tree skirt, two Christmas mice, and my gnome. To the dining room table, I'm adding touches of buffalo check along with that wood tone from the basket, two large candle holders, a wooden Christmas tree, and two velvet trees. To the piano, I'm adding two Christmas trees, and now I'll start on the fireplace mantle. I'm going to start by hanging my DIY wreath. And these two beautiful Christmas trees 
will flock each side of the fireplace mantel. I'm adding these beautiful snowflake looking wreaths and lights to the mantel. I'm also adding this buffalo check and burlap garland, my wooden tray, along with my three little rocking chairs. And now guys, my beautiful gnomes. I'll add this Christmas tree. And I'll finish it off with this cute little reindeer. Now I'm changing the pillow covers. I was able to order the buffalo check pillow covers with the leather stripe going down the middle. To the curio cabinet, I'm adding these wooden village houses, this Christmas tree and the trailer with the truck. To the table, I'm adding this buffalo check table runner and my lantern. In the kitchen, I'm adding these gold reindeer, Christmas trees to the island, and my gnome in this cloche. And my husband is putting up our tallest Christmas tree that sits in the center of our foyer. Once the tree is up, I'll go through and begin to fluff all of the tree branches. I like to use the pattern of pulling one up and one down. And you guys, I have to go up on the ladder because as you can see, this tree is extremely tall. You guys, this tree is over 12 feet tall. And you'll get to see it all decorated in my Christmas home tour. You guys, it's day four and I am decorating my bedroom. I'm beginning by removing all of the linen so I can replace it with linen that I have for my Christmas decor. White linens on a bed just really give you that hotel feel and it really makes for a good night's sleep. I think it may be in my head, but I just really love white linen. Now I'm adding this beautiful white fur comforter to the bed. Now I'll dress the bed with my pillows and this beautiful red throw. I'm adding my stockings to the fireplace and I'll decorate the tree later. And now 
now guys, it's time to decorate the tree in my prayer room slash office. And I'm starting with this beautiful wicker tree collar. And I'll fluff out the tree and then I'll decorate it. You guys, this tree is beautiful, but this flocking is getting everywhere. The tree is so beautiful. It's worth it to me to just vacuum up the flocking when I'm all done. I'm going to start by wrapping my wooden beads around the tree. Watch out the rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for seven tonight. The wooden beads against the flock tree look absolutely beautiful. I can already tell that the wooden decorations are really going to make this tree stand out. And now I'll just begin adding my wooden ornaments to the tree. You guys, it really, really looks nice. I love the wood tone colors against the white flocking of this tree. It matches this room to a T. And now I'll just vacuum up the flocking. And now guys, we'll decorate outside and we're almost done. And guys, it's day five and I'm decorating our largest tree in the foyer, but you'll have to tune in to my Christmas home tour to see the final reveal. Okay guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're inspired to do some decorating of your own. If you've already decorated, you guys, comment down in the comment section and let me know all about your decorating and what you've done in your home for the Christmas season. And you guys, I just, if this is your first time coming to my channel, if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe. Hit that notification bell right there <laughs> so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. And you guys, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Can you guys guess what? We did it. We made 100 subscribers. The last time I looked, we were actually at 112. And I'm so grateful for all 112 of you. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. Like I said in my last video, may not seem like a lot to others, but it means the world to me. I actually, before I even posted the last video, we had already hit 100 subscribers. And so I'm excited to do the giveaway. And in the next video, I'm going to tell you all about the giveaway. I'm going to tell you how to enter for a chance to win the giveaway. And I'm just really excited to be able to do that. I got a notification from YouTube congratulating me when I hit 100 subscribers. And I'm just looking forward to growing even more and, and just going far more exceedingly um, and abundantly more than I, I could even imagine for myself with the help of God. And so anyway, to my 112 subscribers, thank you guys so much, so much. 
Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Remember, in the next video, I'm going to talk to you about the giveaway, but I'm also going to do Christmas home tour so you can see my home in its entirety with all the decorations coming together. You guys, that's it. Remember, it's all the little things in life that give us the sweetest, prettiest little pleasures. We'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.